It's late. I've had a long day. It's like 10 o'clock at night. But I want to talk about the symmetry tool in Psy 2 because apparently this was added kind of a while ago? Um, I was looking it up online and apparently it was added to Psy like in August of 2019? I It's existed for like this whole entire year and I never even noticed it. So. Basically, I learned about this tool because a friend of mine was telling me about the perspective tool in Psy2, and I had no idea that that existed, and it's actually this button right here. Uh, if you click on it, it gives you all sorts of options for viewpoint perspective rulers, which is very cool, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. So I discovered the symmetric ruler because I went down to the very last thing on the list and I clicked it just because I figured, oh, a, sym a symmetry ruler, that's kind of cool. I haven't ever tried using that, I might as well. And uh, so when you first click on the symmetry tool, uh, it adds a little layer modifier thingy on top of whatever layers you already had going on there. And you'll see this little guideline going straight down between your canvas. Basically, what you can do is, if you test it out on the layer below it, and you draw, let me change it to black just cause. You can see it does everything symmetrically. So it, it makes everything symmetrical. So you can like draw things like faces really easily. Um, and just anything that needs to be symmetrical, it makes it pretty easy to do that. Which is quite nice. So I was looking at this tool and I was like, that's pretty cool, but I wonder if we can, I wonder if there's ways to do like more than just two-sided symmetry? I wasn't really like 100% sure if that would be a possibility, so I just, I clicked on the ruler just to see what would come up, and of course it gives me, you know, the layer name. And then it said divisions, maximum 20, and also line symmetry. So I first messed around with the divisions counter, and I think I put in 8 originally, and it, of course, did this beautiful star pattern on the canvas. And I pretty much, I started drawing with it and it just blew my mind how cool this is. Like I've been wanting to do radially, radially symmetrical art pieces for a long time. Like I've seen, I've seen people do gifs of them and stuff and like that in itself is just, they're so, wonderful to watch as people draw them like they just oh they're so satisfying like yes this is very nice and it's just so cathartic to see it just filling in areas all around at the same time like it's so nice and also just like there are so many ways that this can be used like you know stained glass windows snowflakes uh like door designs, uh, plants, I don't know. Y you get the idea. There's so many things that you can use this tool to make cool designs with. And I'm so, I'm baffled that I'm just now like, have found it now. I had no idea that it was here and I haven't even like heard about it anywhere else. The other thing that you can do with this tool is you can do, um, the only thing I can really think is like medieval shields, how they have designs that kind of like come around in, into themselves. Like, okay, I'll, I'll show you. So if you click on the little symmetry ruler thing layer and you click on line symmetry and take that away, it makes it so that it does this. It only draws on one side and it like does it all the way around, which is really nice because you can do all sorts of cool things with that. And uh, you can make things that tie into themselves, like, uh, what is it called? Celtic knots? This makes Celtic knots really easy to do. Basically, you just, you know, like, you can just draw them and have them all come into each other. Like, like bring it out this way and come around here. Over this one, and then I'm gonna erase some things. Uh, erase it. That goes over or under. That goes under, and then I'll just do another one like right here, I guess. Erase that. 
I'm like this isn't this isn't the best example of a Celtic knot, but you get the idea. You can you can basically just do whatever kinds of circular symmetrical designs that you want to do with this tool. And this, the options for like mixing this version with like this version and like combining the two and just combining these, you can just basically make any kind of really cool radially symmetrical design and you can pick how many divisions you want in a design like if i go all the way up to 20 i think that's a little excessive but like you know look at how cool that is like like that that's just oh that's so much fun like it's just enjoyable to work with i i haven't found another tool inside too that i haven't enjoyed as much as I enjoy this tool and like I do just want like you know as many people to learn about this tool as possible because like oh my gosh it has made drawing certain things so much more fun and so much more exciting I guess I don't know what the right word would be but it's just a lot more fun to work with than trying to like one by one like draw draw a design and then make that a new layer and then rotate it with control T and then like move it down and then go do control E and then and, and then like copy that layer and then do control T and then rotate it like that and then merge them down and then go control T again and then like rotate it again and then merge it down and then control T again like like that's excessive and this looks horrible and like it's just oh it's so much easier just to work with this and you can do like odd numbers of divisions too like if i put seven is a really nice number of divisions to work with like oh it's just so nice you can just do whatever you want like it's just oh my goodness it's so much fun but uh yeah so that's the that's the symmetric ruler um please use this to make all sorts of totally wicked cool and make all sorts of crazy satisfying designs and gifs and videos with this because like oh, it's so much fun to work with i highly highly recommend it um maybe my next video will be about perspective ruler i haven't worked a whole lot with the perspective ruler but it does work really well it is very cool i just need to actually like get going on like doing some background images or something so that I actually have a reason for using the perspective ruler. So I hope this video helps some people out with learning how to use the radial symmetric ruler. Really, or symmetric ruler I guess. It's a great tool. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye bye!